Welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, I'm creating a 2D character that will be used in a 2D animation. So first I'm just drawing all these circles, they're just objects, then I select everything, and I go to Path, Object to Path. I think Control shift c is also the shortcut to do that. And what that does is it converts all of these objects into a path that has different nodes so I can shape them like I'm doing here. This video is sped up if you can't tell, this is like six or 800 speed I think, and so um, and this is really just one way to do it. You could draw shapes, you could draw squares, you could draw anything really. You could even do like a freehand drawing and then just manipulate each one of these nodes. I like to draw an object first, like a circle, and get sort of my rough frame of my character. And then, um, yeah, and then go through and, and resize and reshape everything. Um, I made parts of it gray and parts of it black to show so I can see the overlapping, how different um, body parts overlap with each other. And so uh, I'm going to be bringing this into OpenTunes, and I'm going to be applying like a skeleton rig to it. And so I want to be able to control different parts of these um, with at different connection points. That's why we have like the neck here, it's sort of like a, a paper doll type animation. Um, and even everything on the face is going to be animated too. So um, I'm going to export all these separately: the eyes, the eyeballs, the mouth, the eye, uh, eyelashes. I think I'm going to leave the hair. I think I chose to leave the hair and the nose as um, as just part of the head and the neck too, actually connected to the head. But everything else got, I export separately, and I'll show you that at the end here. For the hair, I just drew. Uh, I just drew in everything just by clicking on the nodes, and then I went in and shaped it um, individually. And I played a lot with color too, so I like to, I like to throw it on a background other than white. I just kind of play around with the color. I, I wasn't really sure where I was going with the colors, and, and I kind of played with it quite a bit. Oh, this part here, so I, I drew in a, a belt, but I also used it to divide the upper and lower half of the body since it was all one um, color, all, all one path. So I split that up. To split up a path like this, it's under Path Division is what I used. And these hands gave me a real problem. I spent a ton of time trying to get them to look good, and I. At one point in time, I, I was I thought about doing a mitten like this, but then I went away from that idea as well. Um, like I, I've said before, I'm not really I don't have any formal training in art, and so I don't really I'm not super great at art creation, but do the best I can. I thought I'd throw a little star on the shirt here to give it some more character, and then uh, change the color of the belt here, changing color of the shoes. That's one of the nice things about Inkscape is it's really easy to get in and change colors and and do things after the fact. So I grouped all the skin together and then changed it all at, at the same time. Same with the shirt, it's all grouped. A, a lot of these different things are grouped so I can change the color uh, of the group instead of each individual item. Put a little belt buckle on here for some character. Yeah, that's about it. It's, it's characters coming together. The next thing I need to do is uh, separate out different items. So what I do, I make a copy, so I have a duplicate copy of the whole character. Then I just separate out each individual part that I want to have. So this is, even though there's different parts here, I group like the whole body section. I just bring out everything separately that I want to, to export out because in OpenTunes or in other software too, uh, I'm going to want to bring them in separately. So I want to bring in just a blank face without the eyes and mouth and things on it because those are going to be, sometimes they'll be closed or sometimes they'll be in a different position. And so I want everything that's going to be you know, I can't, you kind of have to think through and think how what parts am I going to want to animate and what parts are going to stay the same all the time. And so then I just go to File, Export, and I just grab like the shoe, the calf, the thigh. I just grab all these different parts, name them, and export them as a PNG image. And um, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. That's really all there is to it. And like I said, every every individual thing, I probably do need to draw. I can either redraw the mouth here or I can redraw or modify different mouth positions in the animation software. I'll probably do that in the software itself. But I could have redrawn them here too. So that's the whole process. Appreciate you watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and catch you in the next video.